Good morning, Michelle Saxman here and ready to share with you my reflections from the daily devotional and reading of Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on February the 16th. I am not able to read directly from the book because that is a violation of copyright law and that is not something I want to play with. So I'm just going to use my notes on this. My first thing that I want to mention is gratitude truly thinking and thanking and not just making a list of things but feeling gratitude actually changes the body's neurochemistry and it begins to cultivate i say it even kind of cleans the cells off of the cortisol and adrenaline which are kind of going when i say against the grain is going to be gratitude because the culture really is going to drive us toward fear doubt worry blame shame kind of getting that adrenaline, the cortisol flowing in our human form. And our Heavenly Father says, come to me, thank me, come with gratitude, building your trust muscle, positive expectation. And you guys, when we learn to do this and we cultivate the stillness with hope, positive expectation and gratitude, we begin to change the body's neurochemistry. In addition, different areas of the mind will be firing. When you are filled with stress and anxiety, I'm gonna tell you right now, you cannot make good sound decisions. Do some deep diaphragmatic breathing, connect to the oxygen that he breathed into Adam, restore our cells, and you guys, the perspective will begin to change. We get to invite him in. So cultivating this, st this stillness, how about the circumstances? Can we give him thanks for the circumstances that bring us to stillness? And to sometimes that means bring us to our knees. And I will just say today is the 16th. I am recording this on the 8th. And the reason I'm recording this on the 8th, you talk about stillness and circumstances. Just got home from dealing with my dad in the hospital. And we're in a new season of care for my dad. And yet our Heavenly Father has me going into oral surgery. So on the February the 8th, I go into oral surgery. I'm going to go a couple days really not talking, going on a liquid diet. And you guys talk about circumstances that lead to stillness. And I have been looking forward to this ever since the 2nd of February when the publisher contacted me and basically indicated I need to make a change in my platform. And I've been going like, what, God, what does God want me to do? But you guys, he's created this opportunity for stillness. And so I'm gonna take advantage of my recovery from the oral surgery as an opportunity to fully invite the powerful presence of my Heavenly Father work on my trust muscle, trusting he's taking care of things with mom and dad. In addition, trusting that his plan will unfold for this community and what steps I take forward. So the readings for today on February the 16th, the first one is Zechariah chapter two, verse 13. Be still before the Lord, all mankind, because he has roused himself from his holy dwelling so when our earth is shattering when our world is being rocked when our uncertain about the next step forward you guys call on our heavenly father be still in his presence and we will receive his perspective the next reading is isaiah chapter 30 verse 15 this is what the sovereign lord the holy one of israel says in repentance and rest is your salvation in quietness and trust is your strength but you would have none of it. You guys, this is Isaiah. This is before Jesus. He did promise. He said, Emmanuel, come in the form of a baby. He will be dwell amongst us. However, in repentance and rest, so surrendering things, letting go and letting God in quietness and trust, we're going to build this trust muscle and I guess more firmly root and establish our foundation and our creator and our savior. This is what the sovereign Lord, the Holy One says. The final reading is 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. But he said to me, my grace, my favor and loving kindness and mercy is enough for you, sufficient against any danger and enables you to bear the trouble manfully. For my strength and power are made perfect they are fulfilled and complete and show themselves most effective in your weakness. Therefore, I will all the more gladly glory in my weaknesses and infirmities that the strength and power of Christ the Messiah may rest upon me. You guys, Paul is wrestling with his thorn. 
that God has given him, but he says, my grace, he acknowledges God, his favor, loving kindness, and mercy. We, I think that there's a lot of stories, especially in the Old Testament, about the condemning and damning God who comes in with rapture, but Paul introduces us to Jesus, the heart of Jesus, our Savior, who has taken all sins upon the cross, and he says, it is my favor my loving kindness, my mercy is all you need, is sufficient against any danger. So if we can remind ourselves to attach our heart, the seat of the soul, to the truths of the Bible, begin to align, create communion, true communion between our thoughts and our heart, our mind and our body, and begin to walk that out. The attitude of gratitude, true thanksgiving, not just making a list, I can be thankful for blah, 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 but experiencing it on a cellular level, you guys, we're going to begin to invite him in to see his perspective. Y'all have a super blessed day. I'm really hoping that about a week of stillness and quiet, not talking for a little bit. I'm sure I'm on a great place in healing and recovering, but taking this opportunity of stillness and calm and not being angry about it, but trusting that my heavenly father has a plan. Y'all have a blessed one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.